G'day everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, this is just another super quick video, just a few minutes long. Just quickly running through where the code is for the monoboard project. Uh, so just giving you a quick update, I'll do a series of videos over the next week, just looking at each particular class in the code. But uh, this is just a bit of an overview. So let's take a look at it now. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the code. Uh, as you can see across the uh, top here on all the tabs, I've split out the code into modular components and based that on separate classes. So we've got the main uh, module here, the monoboard, and we have a POD class. So we've got the header file and the code file. We've got a serial logger uh, header and code file here. Uh, settings uh, class, so we've got the header and the code file. Speed controller, again, it's a separate class, so we've got the header and the code file and the state process or a state machine, so a header file and another code file. I'm not going to go into too much depth here. I think I'll cover off on each of these classes in a separate video so it doesn't end up being too long. I've also got another header file at the end, which I'm just going to group all of the uh, licenses in where I use uh, some code that's been developed by some other very smart people. Um, so the main code file is quite, uh, quite small actually at this point in time. I'm sure it'll grow as I put more functionality into it. But apart from the includes for all those headers and setting up the settings parameters which get stored in EEPROM and the actual pins for all the I.O. There's not a whole lot in here. MPU variables, the PID class is instantiated, the speed controller class is instantiated, serial logger is instantiated and the state processor as well. Then just prototypes for all of the actual states and then straight into the setup. First of all, uh, sets up the I squared C bus, sets up the serial logger, and also uh, passes the reference of the serial logger into the settings so it can actually log data out on the serial port. Sets up the PID parameters with the, uh, all the settings, initializes the speed controller with its IO, and then just sets the speed to zero as a starting point, sets up the state processor and then passes in the starting state. And the loop, even simpler, uh, basically it's just calling the execute method in those classes. So the state processor, the PID, speed control and the serial logger, and that's it for the loop. And then we just have all of the state functions. So uh, from the initial state, through initializations and then into the actual starting and writing states and at the end of it we have some error states that we land in uh, should there be problems and at the end of it a couple of helper functions looking at things like getting the balance angle checks for battery low and things of that nature which at the moment just have some returns in there just to get the code up and running so there's a little bit to add in there and that's pretty much it so look i will go into this in much more depth i just wanted to give you a bit of a feel for how things are progressing over the next week i'll do a separate video on each class and go into it in more depth. And bearing in mind that there's still gonna be some work to do on some of these classes as well. But anyway, just a quick update on where I'm at with the code. Okay, cheers for now. If you like what I'm doing, then please do like the video. If you'd like to see more, then please subscribe. And don't forget to hit the chime so you get notified when I post something new. And I'll put a couple of links here to some other videos you can look at.